Hello, everybody, and welcome along to Road America. I think we've got an exciting race ahead of us. Some of the coolest, most exotic sports cars that you will see anywhere in the world. This is round four of the 2020 IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, Road America. You may have a full seat. You're only going to need the edge of it. Remember, you have to stay in line until after start finish. The green flies, let's go. And there's a flyer from the start. That is early to be going banging like that. What a start to the 2020 season for Corvette Racing. They have now won two in a row. GT Daytona for Aim Vassa Sullivan. It's a Lexus 1-2. Oxford 1.2, Berlin 6.1. See Elio. This is the carousel trying to hold it as tight. Gets a little bit of contact oh. on the left front there. The Bill Oberlin in the BMW. Now in P2, well, it's a really cool story. Patrick Kelly, at 52 years old, made an astonishing return to racing last year after a nine-year hiatus due to a severe road car accident. He won here at Road America last year and is coming off a win at Sebring just two weeks ago. Oliver Jarvis is now in the lead of DPI and he's got Elio Castro Neves all over him. Elio's going to be aggressive right the other side. What a move from Castro Neves. It's just kind of dark over in Canada. Copy that, we're feeling it here in the air. We keep doing what you're doing, we'll keep you posted. The drops of rain are intermittent now. Renger told us, he said, if it rains, we have a chance, because on rain tires, it's the great equalizer. Rain. Is it raining uh, hard enough he can stay one more lap? Oh, almost lost in the carousel. We see here against the Briggs and Stratton sign, it is starting to rain really hard. People, Durrani, Durrani's off. As we see in the 18 LMP2 cars spun as well. Getting to this part of the racetrack where it's raining so heavily, there's nothing you can do. It's like just sliding on a sheet of ice. That's a big slide for a Porsche in the spray. That's not stopping. This is going to be huge. Absolutely huge. That was the leader in GT Le Mans. And we've got a full course caution. Red flag with 42 to go. Multiple cars are damaged. The skies opened up. Doing some work on uh, start finish down to one, trying to uh, get the puddles out. But already it's clearing up. I'm very optimistic we'll get this restarted. Your race clock has restarted and it'll be about five minutes. It's getting very dicey indeed. Van der Zander's off. Castro Neves takes the lead. It is the survival of the fittest at the moment. Oh, this. Oh, it's Andy. It's 911. And that looks like the BMW that was leading the race, yes. John Edwards. That's going to hand the win if he can hang in there to Antonio Garcia. Caution's out. Full course yellow, and that is it. Elio Castro Neves, he can cruise to victory. Full course yellow. There's a bit of a mess in the king. Man, I'm driving my dippy toes. Bring it to the checker. Elio Castro Neves, Ricky Taylor, victorious at Road America. Atta boy! <laughs> Good job, everyone. Well done. Rick Cole, my man. We've been last every single race this year with some misfortunes, so to get that monkey off of our back with a win couldn't be any sweeter. Ben Hanley has crossed the line and wins LMP2. Still waiting for GT Le Mans. Here they come, cross the line. Garcia and Milner, Corvette do it again. It is the GTD number 12 of Townsend Bell ahead of Mario Farnbacher. That's going to be a welcomed win for Aim Vassa Sullivan and the 12 side of the garage. What a showcase we have had because we've had everything. We've had lap record pace, we've had tactics, we've had survival. What a day we have had in Road America. We love this type of racing.